We all know that leaves are known as the kitchen of the plant. They make food by the process of photosynthesis which requires sunlight. But have you ever noticed how the leaves are arranged on the stem or branch of a plant? Or have you ever observed how the seeds of the sunflower are arranged? If we look down on a plant, the leaves are often arranged so that leaves above do not hide leaves below. This means that each gets a good share of the sunlight and catches the most rain to channel down to the roots as it runs down the leaf to the stem. Urvarukam or the squirting cucumber disperses its seeds in a particular pattern such that all of them receive equal air, sunlight and water for germination. This is also explained in the Rig Veda 7.59.12 which is also called the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra which goes as follows. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Yava Bandhanan Mrityara Mukshya Mamaritat which means we worship the three-eyed one who is fragrant and nourishes all beings. May he liberate me from death for the sake of immortality, even as the cucumber is severed from its bondage of the creeper. This mantra is usually chanted 108 times to preserve life. It explains, just like how a cucumber falls from the mother plant, life goes on. All of the examples given above have something in common. All of them are arranged in the Fibonacci pattern. The seeds of a sunflower are arranged in spirals of successive Fibonacci numbers. There are spirals going clockwise and spiral going anticlockwise. The number of seeds in the spirals will always be 21, 34, 55 and 89. So if the clockwise number is 21, the anticlockwise will be 34. If the clockwise is 34, then the anticlockwise will be 55. So the spirals will always be in successive Fibonacci numbers. But why does nature prefer this pattern? Nature prefers this pattern because it completely uses the space given and maximizes the number of seeds. The answer is not the Fibonacci numbers, instead it is the ratio between two successive Fibonacci numbers. If we divide 34 by 21, the ratio we get is approximately 1.618. This is called the golden ratio or the divine ratio and it is denoted by the symbol called phi. This is why the ancient Indian mathematician Pingala did not merely discover the Fibonacci series but understood the concept of the Fibonacci series and the golden ratio from the Rig Veda which is at least 5000 years old. Ancient Hindus were actually using this concept by creating fractal figures called mandalas such as the Mahamrityunjaya Yantra for thousands of years. These fractal figures were based on the golden ratio. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Ancient Indian mathematics and science are both vast fields of knowledge and are closely associated with spiritual consciousness. We hope you like our video. Thank you.